What's going on people and welcome back to another video today we're going to do something a little bit different firstly i'm recording a little bit different as you can see i'm recording uh, the audio and the video separately i'm going to try a ting um but why it's going to be different is because i'm going to do a react video i'm going to react to some of my old mixes pretty much the furthest back i can go in terms of one songs that are not on copywritten beats there are a few exceptions that i'll get into but two what's out there on youtube i've been mixing since 2000 and i want to say eight since myspace basically and all of those songs that i mixed back in the day are pretty much gone there are a handful of songs that i've that i've picked out that i've mixed since opening the studio since going professional and um yeah i just thought it would be cool to see how far i've come in in the past you know five six years so yeah let's start straight off with one of the first songs that i mixed that got a video so the first time one of my mixes was on link up tv probably the first time one of my mixes was on youtube if i'm being totally honest um and that is bar for bar ace boogie flow and i've not listened to this before recording the video this is going to be the first time listening to it we're going to put it in um 1080 at least so we've got the high quality audio and yeah let's have a listen so the backstory for this actually i want to give a little backstory for each video um bar for bars management got in touch with me don't know how they found me i was very new this was six years ago um i'm not going to try and do the maths on that but pretty much as soon as the studio had opened uh, I, I can't even remember how his management found me said he wanted to do um a track i didn't know who bar, bar for bar was no disrespect of course i had no idea who he was i thought he was cold I can't even remember what the song sounds like. I've not listened to it in so long, but I, you know, I thought it was cold, but I didn't realize that Bar for Bar had a following because I was getting follows on my page. People, you know, there was good feedback on Link Up. You know, really big for me at the time, like a, a real big, like, wow, I'm actually doing this thing. You know what I'm saying? I'm actually recording and mixing and, and I'm actually doing this properly. But anyway, enough chat. Let's listen to the song. Let's listen to the mix. Yeah. So this is my studio. So to stop, this is my studio. Like, that's my that's my barbecue. That's what the studio looks like from outside. Um, <laughs> it's in the back of my garden. Um, but yeah. Busy. Bar for bar. Back in the booth. Feel me? Quickly. I've been busy on some other things Like no after no I've been covering I put my hopes in these phones, it's kind of troubling I put my hopes in these raps, it's just another thing I've got that opium flow like I'm doping at home Never needed riders, cause I rode in alone Might stumble the stagger Now I pull up in the bench like Spragger I'm jumping out and it's your low Alright, so first thing I'm going to say is very sibilant there's a lot of high end not a lot of mid range not a lot of low end cool trapper the man there there's some local actors and it absolutely you can just hear the slate vms these early mixes have all been done on vms i didn't have any other plugins on the slate bundle i mean um you can just hear the um the shimmer plug-in you know the shop there's a lot of like real 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 top end on on this mix and also look at my studio it looks like a fucking it looks so dead like that it's the same view <laughs> that's the same sofa um obviously i've spruced it up since since this video I talk a lot but i'm the one that's knackered libra scales i'm the one that's balanced Cut through. a lot of delays the delays are kind of like merging together doesn't sound great but i like what i did with the ad libs the ad libs are kind of panning you know i've been on the auto panting from early but it doesn't sound bad right it doesn't sound bad is that a heater oh my days bro i can't believe these man wanted to do a video in the studio look at the little heater bro look at that let's see if i can find some more imagery from from what the studio looked like that mic here is this mic that i'm recording on now i've had this mic since i got this mic in my first year of college which would probably would have been 2008 2008 2009 i think 2008 though 
There you go. That was a good v Man, it just looks... It looks clean. Don't get me wrong. It does look clean. I wonder why I wasn't using that mic. That's the TLM. I borrowed, I borrowed that from uh, my boy. I don't know why it wasn't in the booth. Maybe just because... I don't know. God knows why. Maybe I thought they were going to break it or something. I don't know. But you got the old Behringer there. Same speakers. MP... Um, what are these called again? The Native Instruments machine the machine i used to have this drawer here with a keyboard on and the keyboard just never got used and it it meant that you couldn't get the, the chair under the desk I, I meant to be reacting to the mix but i'm more like i can't believe my studio used to look like this it looks clean though it does look clean i might have to like start getting rid of some clutter but yeah i think that mix is okay you know it's okay considering it's probably maybe one of the first mixes that I did from opening the studio of like being coming out of uni and everything first time I did a mix for someone got paid for it I probably didn't get paid much probably like a 10 or a 20 quid or something um but yeah I'm not too embarrassed by that I think that's okay I think that's all right it, it, it it's not great but it's all right R and B now. This is Ray Stewart. Have I got this on? Yep, 1080. This is Ray Stewart. She's from Brum. Now I've got a lot of family up in Brum, and I guess um, I got put in touch. I can't remember if it was the manager or the producer that got in touch first and introduced. I don't know, but uh, basically through my family in Brum, and this was definitely the first R and B song I mixed that got released. It says five years ago, so not as old as the Bar for Bar one, but it was still very early doors. I probably only had Slate plugins for this one as well. Um, bless, listen. This sounds really good. I can't lie. I'm impressed. Like, big up me. Like, there's a lot of space in this. But I will say the production is on point. I remember this is the, one of the first tracks I had all the stems for. It might be the first ever mix I did with all the stems. It could very well be. And, yeah, like, the production is really good. There's a lot of space for the vocals to sit in. Um... I remember having a lot of fun with mixing this because again it was just the first one and I think it sounds pretty good. You feel my truth, let's do what we wanna do, cause we need to do it now. So come my way. Baby boy. Is it happening today? Me and you connect in deep ways. I see visions of us going hot for each other, baby. Each other, baby. Real deep, real deep, me and you in between the sheets. Stop trying, stop loving me. Tell me, G, do you wanna be? I think that sounds really good. I can't even lie. I think the, the chorus, the doubles and stuff don't have a lot of depth to them. I think there could be a lot more depth going on. I think this was probably before I had like the little micro shift and before I had bus compressors, better bus compressors than the one that slate had at the time obviously this is early days of slate bundle but um yeah man i really like this i was well i was anticipating that kick and that bass coming in because i was like i bet there's gonna be no bass but the bass sounded all right let's let's listen one more time The bass could be a lot better still. So this is before I knew about splitting the frequencies. So taking the, the, the bass track 
and splitting it from the high ends to the low ends. Because the high bit sounds good, but it definitely needs some more. It sounds like the bass could be saturated. I really like the vocals. It's got to be said, the vocals sound really good. Clean. But I just felt like that 808 could use some saturation. It could use some compression. I think I was probably being a bit too safe with that 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 bass line. Um, just a little bit boring, I think. I think I could have done a lot more. All right. Next, my boy Joe. Joey, this is the first song that we ever did together. First time he came to the studio, we linked up and we did this track. Um, it's called Concrete Jungle. Let's see this, 10A. Yeah, so this was the first time me and, me and Joey linked up. We've done hundreds of songs I, I would i would be i would take the liberty to say hundreds of songs so five years it might not look like that long a time but in music terms a lot a lot of work got done and big up to joey man he's been consistent that five years he's been consistent consistent i don't want anyone to say when like when he's a household name i don't want anyone to say that that shit was overnight bro <laughs> Couldn't give a monkey what it looks like. What it looks like. This a concrete jungle. Gorillas on the left, you better look right. While you was trying to link a pretty light in the west, and I was grinding, pushing apes on my push bike. It ain't been all bad, but I know what the hood like. I've met friends, I've had friends, I've lost them without saying goodbye. I was listening to two pack, wishing I had two straps that kick back the lick down the shoot night. Come on, I've been snakes so many times that who the hell I put my trust in. But I am about to cry, man, a river like I'm Justin. A screw face with a cold heart, spin the custom. My cuz in cuffs while I'm swagging with these cufflinks. I swear it's all backwards. My 25th chapter. All right, so this. So I was recording on the Rode K2 microphone then. It's a tube microphone. And it sounds, it's got a sound to it. Really like the sound. I feel like I could have done more with a mix. Like the vocals sound a little bit boring. Uh, just uninteresting a little bit. They could pop a little bit more, but I think the basis, let's listen some. But Jesus soon come, I'm getting ready for the rapture. Amen. Instead of make stink, it's the return of the rapture. Like I swear I got a back to- It's mad, cause like, if you listen to his music now, he he's not this, he sounds like he's got a point to prove in this. He's hungry. He sounds angry, bro. For all the rapping in these shows, man, I was bagging all this crow. All this in and out my house, I swear it's damaging my soul. All this in and out relationship was damaging my soul. Like what happened? Oh, damn it, she a slag and she a hoe. Just a young and plain dirty trying to soul search. Born alone and die alone. A lot of plosives. Like, I, I don't think I was on uh going through to the audio and like taking out the plosives back then. I definitely wasn't. But a lot of plosives in it. Um, I think it sounds good, but not exceptional. Do you know what I'm saying? It's not like, doesn't blow you away really. That mix isn't, I, I didn't mix the beat for sure. I, I, I definitely didn't mix the beat for that, but it's not like, I could have done more is basically what I'm saying. Like the song is being carried by the bars, the beat or whatever. A lot of the time as a mix engineer, you want to be up there in the conversation. like. When people are saying, yeah, this song sounds lit, you want them to be saying, the bars are hard, the mix is hard, the production's hard, but people aren't gonna say that about this. Like it's, even for the time, I don't think the the mix was that great. But it's okay, it's okay, it's not bad. This was a song that I had the beat stems for. This, this was a big learning experience for me because I remember hating, hating how the mix came out like I, I liked it at the time but I remember listening back maybe like a few months later and thinking man I just didn't do a good job with this mix so I like to listen to this and I really like the song as well so let's listen again very safe like there's not that bell these Like I could have done so much more with that. I could have made the stereo field sound so good, but I kept it. I kept it safe. Do you know what I'm saying? Who is that? 
So all of those instruments that you hear there, all the music, as I like to call it, straight down the middle. There's nothing I've I've not like, I probably did, but I, just, I think I was probably just being really safe. Like it just sounds very narrow. Do you know what I'm saying? They don't wanna see us up. They don't wanna see us up. But we don't come from that. I'm a brother. We ain't living up a lot. We ain't living up a lot. This fake is a place to be from. It ain't friendly. It's God that we trust. I don't like it. I know I got this pen that beat like a skeng. They don't wanna see us bust. They don't wanna see us. Yeah, they see me see us bust. Been through tough times. We've been through the rough. Not there when you're down, but they there when you're up. White shirt with them cufflinks for my G's and them cuffs. Spoke to my cuz like freedom's a must. Cooked the under the booth, man, I'm season it up. Any rhythm that I touch, man, I'm greasing it up. We've been through some mad times. Sad times, I burnt the bridge with a struggle. We can't reason with us. I cry like a single mum. So the kick is non-existent. The kick drum is non-existent. It just, the balance, the stereo field, it just wasn't great. I don't know. Because this was after the race do it one. I don't know if like, I'm not sure. I think maybe I over mixed it. I think I, tr I was trying too hard because I really like the song. And there's a part in it that's just so cold. I think it's here. Man, I got a question for them. Could you love me on that baby? Could you love me on that Could you love me on that bus? Vocals are so loud. I love 21 questions. Tell me all about us. Yeah, they love you in that belly. Could they love you in that bus? God that we trust. This is the first one that I'm like, do you know what? This mix isn't very good. Out of all the ones we've listened to, um, and it's it's one of the the more recent ones, but I just I just don't think it's very good. And I remember that kind of I don't know what it was, but I remember listening to it like after it had been released and I just remember thinking, man, I mixed this really badly. And that kind of was a wake wake up call where I went back to the drawing board and I was like, I need to learn more and I went and watched more YouTube videos you know practice because I just I, I knew that I fumbled it I knew that I wasn't feeling the balance I felt like the, even now the kick drum is kick drum is non-existent especially when we're talking rap songs you know what I'm saying we want that kick to be thumping man up and um yeah this was a and you'll have these in your career and I'm still having them now like I always try to stress to you guys although I make these videos I ain't got all the answers. I ain't got no plaques. I ain't got no Grammys. I'm still learning myself. Do you know what I'm saying? I just enjoy talking about mixing. Um, but anyway, I'll give that. If the race through it one got a nine out of 10, you know, the only thing letting it down was the bass. This is going to get a five. Just like <sighs> bland. All right. Now this... Should I save the rest for another video, a part two? We're already 21 minutes in. I might leave it there, you know? I might leave it there. I think I will. And maybe I'll do another one. If you guys like this and engage, then I'll do another one. Um, that was really fun. I enjoyed it. You can tell that I really enjoyed that. I'm going to try and think of some more things like this that I can do. I hope that this recording setup that I've done works. I probably should have prepped, like, try it out because if i lose this footage in this video i'm going to be upset because i really really enjoyed it i hope you did too leave a comment let me know which what you think of my old mixes um and let me know what you want to see next and um hit that like button subscribe if you haven't already and um yeah i'll see you guys in the next video peace <laughs>